Hello, it is Sunday, October 30th, 2022. I'm Chris Remo, and welcome back to the New York Times Crossword Daily Solve. It's a Sunday puzzle today, and it looks like it's more, more than just a Sunday puzzle. We have some sort of cipher, some sort of code going, going on. And um, as with yesterday, I am quite time constrained, so I do need to get out of here at a certain time, and I don't know how this is going to work. I'm going to attempt to solve this quickly. I... I don't know what to say or what to predict, so I'm just going to have to get on with it and see um, what happens. You can see I have the instructions here up on the grid. I have a version of the, the puzzle without the instructions so that it can fit in the video, so don't worry about that. But in any case, this um, this particularly worrisome edition of The Daily Solve has been brought to us by Laura Sexton, Victoria Rojishka, and, as always, the inestimable hood monster, the invaluable Timothy Mark, and the indomitable Shawmaster. So thank you so much to the five of them, benefactors of the Daily Solve Patreon campaign, for their generous support in bringing us this series and this channel in a sustainable manner. I do very much appreciate that, as I appreciate the efforts of everybody who has become a patron at any level. And um, you can do that. You can become a benefactor to get the Daily Solve Let's Check the Grosses mug, or become a patron, patron to get access to all of the bonus videos and all of the uh, new ones that go up each week by going to patreon.com slash daily solve. All the information is in the link in the description field underneath the video. And uh, there you can also join the Daily Solve Discord chat server. And also, separately, don't forget to join the YouTube channel, subscribe to the YouTube channel. All right, let's get on to the puzzle. So this is entitled Sending a Message. It was constructed by Addison Snell. And uh, who is this is Addison Snell's second puzzle for the New York Times. And it was edited, as always, by Will Shorts. So Let's first read this note. This completed puzzle contains a 114 across, we'll have to learn what that is, comprising the eight shaded answers. Put these in order, one after the other, then use this key to get a line spoken by 25 across in the 40 across. Okay, this is really something. And then we have a, a cipher here. Okay, so we'll need to swap the eight shaded answers for their corresponding letters in the cipher and then we'll, we'll, we'll see what that all means. All right, so let me switch over to this version. We'll consult it later as needed, and let's start solving. Flight path. Don't know. Curse. Um, what about this? Climbed as one across, as one across. Climbed as stairs, a flight of stairs? Would it just be went up? Is that going to be as simple as that? Um, curse could be swear, as in a swear word. Rat out, tell on somebody. So to rat somebody out, to tell on them, to, you know, the, <laughs> the police or your parents, depending on the sort of context here. Longtime media figures, figures suspected of being the inspiration for the Devil Wears Prada. All right, I only saw the Devil Wears Prada for the first time last year or earlier this year. Um, it's Anna Wintour, who was the... Um, legendarily uh, difficult editor, uh, sort of brilliant but difficult editor of the devil of um, not the devil's brought of what American Vogue. Okay, have it in. You could have it in for somebody. You could you know really be out to get them. Wilbur is one in Charlotte's Web. Wilbur, Wilbur was the the pig in Charlotte's Web, and he was a runt, a small a small pig. Um, I mean, I, I do remember reading this book when I was very very young, but I I don't remember much more than that. All right, Pacific Harbinger of wet West Coast weather. All right, <laughs> speaking of things I do remember from being young, El Nino, growing up in Southern California, I remember El Nino was oft spoken about. And it's a, um, yeah, Pacific Harbinger of wet West Coast wet co West Coast weather. You'd think I would remember more specifically what it's about. I mean, it's, it's winds and portends rain and things like that. Okay, English computer scientist who pioneered the breaking of ciphers. Ah, there we go. Generated by the 98 across. Alan Turing, the famous, famous uh, computer scientist, um, treated quite horribly in his, his, his lifetime and, and now revered. So let's see. Generated by the 90 across. Was this the Enigma machine? I think, uh, yes, 98, 98 across, World War II era encoding device. The, the, the Enigma device, Enigma machine, I'm pretty sure it's Enigma machine. Um, and then 40 says, 2014 movie portraying the work of Alan Turing with the, you know, I actually haven't seen whatever this is, so 
don't think I know the name of it. What about this? Like some life insurance benefits. They could be spousal benefits. And pull out um, retreat or re-something. Pull out to... Um, not sure. Observed during, seen at, as in observed during a meeting, seen at a meeting. I'm not sure. Cosette to Marius in Les Misérables. Um, you know, I've actually never seen nor read any version of Les Misérables, but maybe a friend, I mean, a feminine form of the word friend, just guessing based on the I-E, Ami, could be. TV schedule info, air date or air time, maybe either one of those would end with an E. Designer Versace, is it Giano? I can't tell. I honestly can't tell if that sounds familiar to me, but it sort of looks like an Italian name that would fit in these cells. What about this? Pain in the neck. Pain in the neck. Not sure. Some tiki bar orders could be Mai Tais, though. Mai Tai, a very extremely classic tiki drink. One of the ones that is sort of um, gone beyond just being thought of as a tiki drink, I think. Cousin of Gomez Adams Wright and the Adams family. Cousin it. Boy, my eyes are very itchy today. I'm blinking frequently. Sorry about that if that's distracting to you. Uh, some quinceanera gift givers. Tias for aunts, uh, aunts in, in um, Spanish. And then this looks like airtime for the TV schedule info. Right, good. Okay. So pain in the neck. Um... Goiter? That's something. I don't actually, to be honest with you, I don't entirely know what goiter is, but it's but it's something. It is some sort of pain. So I guess it's in the neck. And then this looks like origami. It's for paper shapers. Yes, origami, the Japanese paper folding art. And send off is to emit, as in, I don't know, an odor or something. You're sending off an odor. Moves from a table to a booth, say, receipts. So as a server, you could reseat somebody from a table to a booth. Okay, driver of some engines. Steam, steam engines. Locomotives, for instance. Classic train locomotives. Uh, comedian Wong, Ali Wong, is a current comedian. And Alka Seltzer is um, that sort of dis dissolving over-the-counter medication that, you, that uh, dissolves fizzes in water. Dunderhead. Um, a, could it be a Dumkopf? Um, borrowed from German? I mean, this is something that I feel is a sort of, at this point, kind of an old-timey insult, which Dunderhead actually sort of is as well. They both have a sort of quaint feeling, so they actually do match each other, which is what you look for in these, in these colloquial clues. So I suspect that's correct wish dream or not sure early online forum use net right so yeah um new, news groups is what this is referring to which was a, which was a sort of a kind of forum of a different sort that was very common in the early internet and they think they do still exist but they used to be really predominant on the internet out in the sun too long maybe not sure. Ending with legal or Senegal, legalese or Senegalese, the language in that case. And then legalese being the sort of lingo used in, in the legal profession. Blank service. Hmm, not sure. Implies in something uh, or in something. I don't know. Go over as a cold case. R reopens. Um, re detects, like a detective, doesn't really sound good. Probably starts with re. Wish. Desire. Oh, there, of course, desire. Yes. When you should be off in brief, your estimated time of departure, I'll be off at that time. Out in the sun too long, maybe. Melted, right. Not. I was thinking a person who's tanned or something like that, but no, an ice cream cone or something. I don't know. Okay, so self-service. Here we go. Common for various sorts of services implies 
and bind. Fet is in sort of fetter. I don't think that's right. Bind, 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 bind. You're in a fit? No. Uh, implies. That's what she implies. That's what she... Oh, I just don't see it. That's very frustrating. Okay, go over as a cold case. Re-engages, re-enters, re... Um, I don't know. Oh, wait a second. 2014 movie portrayed in, portrayed in the work of Alan Turin. The Imitation Game. This isn't Giano. I really, that was extremely bad form for me to put that in without realizing. I should have fine to put it in initially and think about it, but then I should have removed those letters because I wasn't actually sure about them. Imitation. The Imitation Game. I do remember that coming out now that I think about it, but I yeah, didn't actually see it. Okay. Polar Expedition Attire. An anorak. Uh, a sort of, you know, I don't know, parka sort of outerwear for cold weather. Um, the Merchant of Venice character who favors wordplay. Oh, I can't think offhand. What about this? Connect with on social media. You could friend somebody. Out of juice. Mm, I assume this means sort of out of fuel. Oh, re-examine. Go over as a cold case. There we go. Great. And, oh, a bind is a fix. You're in a real bind. You're in a real fix. There we go. And implies is intimates. Yes, okay. You're intimating something. You're implying it, but you're not outright saying it. Ready to blow is mad as in, in the sense of angry. And out of juice is dead as in a battery. There we go. Portia, the Merchant of Venice character. And Come to grips. There we go. We're going to come to grips with something. We're going to understand it, which hopefully is what we'll do with this cipher later. Actually, I just realized there are quite a few, quite a few shaded cells. What did this say again? Oh, comprising the eight shaded answers. Right. Because I wasn't really paying attention to the grid, I thought that was going to be eight cells, but no, it's not. It's quite a few more than that. It looks like 40 cells because each of these looks like it has five letters. Wow, that's okay. Leaf producer. Oh, Nissan leaf, Nissan leaf. I think I've heard of that. It's an electric car probably, or a hybrid maybe. Pull out. Hmm, not sure. Soapbox rant, a tirade. You're just ranting and raving. Frequent victim of Calvin's pranks in Calvin and Hobbes. That's the character of Susie, Cal Calvin's um, school friend slash enemy, frenemy, I suppose. Okay. Fission locales. Nuclei. Um, the plural of nucleus, of an atom, I think, is what's going on there. So nuclear fission. Pull out. Why can't they see what this is? That's so frustrating. Rude way to break up with someone in a text, maybe, I bet that is. And one way to segment demographic data. It could be by sex. There we go. So I think that does sort of suggest in a text is, is correct. Pray for a lion. A new... Um, I bet, is the animal in question. And to pull out, oh, to renege on an agreement. There we go. To renege on an agreement, to pull out of it. Okay. Gradually slid into, eased into. And Brazilian jiu-jitsu is a martial art. There we go. Crew vessel is a skull, I want to say. The boat used in, so crew in this case means the sort of sport of rowing. Crew. Um, how some popcorn is popped. Some popcorn is popped in oil. And letters on a crucifix are um, the I-N-R-E. Um, yeah, and I have to be honest with you, I don't remember exactly what that means. Is it is it king of the Jews or is it, like, is that completely wrong? I, I can't remember. I'm sorry. Okay. Celebratory dances are jigs. You dance a jig. And thin porridges are gruels. Um, yeah. So exactly what it says, thin porridge, gruel, food. My dear man, sir, oh no, I-N-R-I, sorry. I-N-R-E is a totally different thing. It means in regarding I-N-R-I is the letters on the crucifix in, um, you know, Christianity. Okay, so my dear man, sir, good. I'm glad I looked at that. Um, civil rights leader Medgar Evers, Medgar Evers was a um, black civil rights leader. 
uh, in the United States. And one accepting the terms and conditions is a user, an end user of a piece of software or something. Transports from the Midway Airport to the Loop. Okay, well, this is presumably L's for the Chicago L, the elevated railway, because um, Midway is one of the major Chicago airports. There's also Chicago O'Hare, but uh, Midway is one. And then modern prefix with health, telehealth. So I suppose that means healthcare via phone or app, that kind of thing. Okay. Set of clubs, golf clubs could be irons as in um, woods or iron clubs. Fitting is something that's fitting. It's apt. It's appropriate. And to add chocolate sauce and a cherry to something, say, is to top that thing. Top it with chocolate sauce and a cherry in this case. And a pre-deal payment is an ante, I guess. I always think of that as sort of a gambling thing, but maybe it's used. it must be used in this other sense as well. And then lead into dermis is epidermis, referring to your skin. Okay, nose dives. Um, plummets? No, that, we would need an S. I don't know, that's, I'm not sure. Na plus for one is an ion. Um, so the plus indicates the, the positive charge, the charge there, in this case, a positive charge of the ion. And then appearance, looks, someone's appearance, someone's looks. And of course, even though appearance is singular, we use looks to mean appearance, even though looks seems like it would be plural. Okay, rubber stamps. Okay is if you rubber stamp a document or someone's plan, you're okaying it, you're rubber stamping. And that usually means it's kind of, well, it depends, I guess. <laughs> Literally rubber stamping means you stamp it with a rubber stamp, but in the idiomatic sense, it means just agreeing to something without really considering it with a great deal of scrutiny. Troublesome engine sound, a clank or a clunk or something probably. Um, 69 down, Ho Chi Minh. There we go, historical figure. And then, so clink, it still looks like probably an L. Word after party or date. Party, date, party line, date line. Yeah, I mean, the party line is that old form of um, kind of multi-household telephone line. And then date line is sort of I don't, used in, in journalism. Um, tibia is, play, yeah, shin, okay. So the tibia, the bone, and then shin. And so this does look like clink or clunk. Nose dives. Plunges, right, there we go. So very similar to plummets. Plunges, the, the figures plunged in the third quarter or something. I don't know, someone might say. Troublesome engine sounds are, oh, pings, right. Oh, that's funny. We had troublesome engine sound, clunk, and then troublesome engine sounds ping. Yes, if your engine is, I mean, this will be less relevant as we have fewer um, internal combustion engine cars, but yes, if your engine is pinging, you want to get that checked out. Startled squeal, eek, mountain cover, ski something, ski cap maybe, you'd wear it on a mountain. Uh, it could be ski hat, I suppose. Let me just, sorry, let me delete that. Many a maid of honor, a sister, it could be a maid of honor at a wedding. Some back and forths. Uh, they generate a lot of buzz. Don't know. Um, Hoover for one. A vac of vacuum cleaner? Or a president? Um, Herbert Hoover. Uh, Emotion felt con el corazón. Um, don't know. Sorry, that's that's, that's testing my Spanish here. Blank warehouse, retail chain, men's warehouse. Hoover for one. A, a dem, a Democrat, worsen significantly, deteriorate. Yeah, that looks right. Okay, so what about this sly plan? What about? this, sorry, arrive at an idea, hit on an idea, that, that works. Um, fourth, rightly asserts, averse, you declare something confidently, you forthrightly assert it. Um, they generate a lot of buzz, oh, hives, beehives, right. Sly plan, a scheme, yes. Oh, no, sorry, what is the Hoover, oh, the Hoover Dam, that's what we're looking for, the Hoover, Hoover Dam. Okay, and emotion felt con el corazón is amor. So is that your heart? Is that corazón? 
That would be my guess. Okay. Um, some back and forths are chats, conversations. Current flavored liqueur is uh, Cassis, um, current flavored liqueur, um, which is in a cure. Is that right? A cocktail with champagne. Um, mountain cover. All oh, right. So it looks like a ski cap. And Carlos in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Carlos Santana, the musician, surely. And hello in Sao Paulo. Hola. So that is uh, not, in this case, Spanish, but Brazilian Portuguese. And some writing services are slates, maybe, as in a sort of blackboard. Um, not sure. There could maybe other things, although it probably ends with an S, so let's put that in. Figure the worth of, yes, to assess something, to determine its worth, its value. Laudatory works could be odes. Here we go, in a big Sunday puzzle, plenty of room for odes, the official poetic form of the New York Times crossword. French for fat is gros. Um, uh, that's the masculine form. Um, be close, the feminine form. Tidy is. Oh no, 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 no! It's not. It's not. It's gras. Yes, of course, gras and glass. Yes, that's right. Sorry. Good thing I checked the cross on that. I need to keep myself honest today. Seemingly, um, I guess gros would be more like big, and then tidy is to tighten. Tidy an area is to neaten it up. And then classified cost is an ad rate. So classified ads, which you don't, I mean, do we still use that phrase? Does that still exist, classified ads? I mean, traditionally, that would be advertising in newspapers on pages dedicated to that advertising, as opposed to um, ads that were sort of, you know, large pictorial ads scattered among the actual reporting. But anyway, so the cost of a classified ad could be um, an ad rate. And usually that was small businesses or individuals as opposed to larger businesses. Some writing services are slates. Affirmations from the congregation could be amens from a religious congregation. Oh, this looks like program. Some, oh no, 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 it's not. It's cryptogram, right? Okay. So, sort of, sort of encoded message found in this puzzle's grid. So, you know, yes. So this will be our, our cryptogram, the encoded message found in the puzzle's grid. Great. Okay. And that's our revealer. So uh, memory part is a byte, a unit of computer memory, a byte, uh, the smallest unit. No, a bit, I guess, is the smallest unit. Okay. Bank run, perhaps, is a, a crash. I'm not sure what, that, what we're looking for. One of 14 in a fist. A knuckle? Yeah, it must be a knuckle. Okay. Herbert Hoover's middle name. Oh, that's funny. We had Hoover up there. I thought we were talking about Hoover for a moment. Herbert Hoover's middle name. Um, Herbert, oh, I don't know. Attitude. I'm not sure. What about this? Where for a, a Sufi scholar turban? Um, there we go. Sort of a, um, kind of a um, Sufi is some kind of a Muslim mysticism. Um, scholarly kind of mystic um, pursuit. Okay. Bank run, perhaps. Errors? I don't know. It's not really right. What is this? Express momentary uncertainty over something at the thing. Um, bulk at? No, that's not enough letters. Eeyore's creator would be the author A.A. A. Milne, the creator of Winnie the Pooh. And then, I mean, this looks like errant, but I just don't see how that's a bank run, perhaps. Hmm. So, I'm sorry, I'm just not quite getting this. Maybe I'll delete this. Failed to maintain a poker face, perhaps. Uh, flinched or winced or something like that? Not sure. Um, what did we have up here? These look almost done. Yes, migratory formation is a V, so geese... I think famously fly in a V pattern, for instance. And what this ellipsis dot, dot, dot sometimes means, etc. So the sequence of the list will continue on. Class for which a for which trig is a prereq. So this is trig referring to trigonometry, and then that will be a prerequisite for calculus. And all of these abbreviations, trig, prereq, indicate that, whoops, that we're also going to be abbreviating the answer from calculus to calc. What a Wheel of Fortune contestant might buy when looking for 
inspiration, an I, the letter I, which would uh, slot into each of these three spaces and create the word inspiration. Okay, attitude, your spirit, your attitude, and I'm good, thanks. Nah, I don't want whatever you're offering. Uh, this looks like Clark Herbert, Clark Hoover, and then Honeydew Relatives, um, probably ends with an S. Um, what is it? I don't know. It's a melon. Honeydew, honeydew is a melon, but I, I don't know what... Yeah, I'm just not sure. Oh, is it cassabas? Because Santa Ana's is another um, another sort of meteorological phenomenon I remember from Southern California. Santa Ana, the Santa Ana winds. Um, so cassabas sounds like something with that. Now that I see that S there, is that something? Express momentary uncertainty over blink at? That's what I'm doing a lot of right now. Um, end of Q1 on company reports, March. If, you, if you're using the calendar year, quarter one would be January, February, March. So there we go. Takes seemingly forever. Crawls or something like that must end in an S because of takes. Blank Valley, California. Right. Another California clue here. So Simi Valley. California. I think that Ronald Reagan live in Simi Valley, was associated with it in some way. Express momentary uncertainty over, maybe this, maybe this blink at, um, love, oh wait, maybe, love of soccer. Oh, nil, right, nil. Okay, it means the score, nil. Okay, I was trying to think of a, of a player's name with love in it, but no, I think that's not what it is. We're looking for love, meaning uh, score of zero in tennis, but what's the what's the soccer equivalent of that or the football equivalent of that? Okay, failed to maintain a poker face, perhaps. Smiled, right, okay, because maybe you got a good hand. Oh, a bank run perhaps is an errand. I was thinking of, <laughs> I was thinking of a run on the banks. So a, a catastrophe in a crash in which people are all attempting to withdraw their deposits simultaneously. And it causes a, a sort of, um, essentially causes a cascading effect of bank failure. So that's not what this is. It just means going to the bank, running an errand, a bank run. Okay. Rock subgenre associated with David Bowie and Elton John is glam rock. There we go. And if something takes seemingly forever, it drags. I don't know why I didn't see that earlier. And then runs down in a way. So it could be runs down as in sort of mm, ruins an area, but it could also be runs down as in catches up to somebody. I'm not sure which this is. Cellist who performed at the Biden-Harris inauguration. Yo-Yo Ma, um, the, ch the cellist presumably. And space-oriented engineering discipline informally. Is it Arrows and aerospace? I'm not sure if that's too vague. Alvin Blank, first African American to be elected Manhattan's district attorney. Don't know. I mean, it looks like Bragg, possibly. Ones without owners. If, it's, if they're animals, they could be strays, domesticated animals, but without an owner. Um, oh, runs. No, 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 never mind. I thought I saw what that is, but I didn't. So maybe this is Bragg, and then Genghis Khan, or Genghis Khan, is a Mongol. And then we had the Mongol title Khan in, was it yesterday or the day before? It was in the last couple of days. It was in the crossword. Okay, Bird of the Baltic. Hmm, not sure, Smee or something? Itsy Bitsy. We, oh, is it a Smew that actually does sort of sound like a bird that I've heard of, but I'm not extremely confident about it. Let's look at these. Makes right, atones for something. You make tones for my sin. Makes right my sin. Yeah, that works. Okay. Uh, Pulitzer Prize winning World War II correspondent. Oh, not sure. Ernie somebody. One with an inside job. Not sure about that either. From long, long ago. A four? Hmm. Icon to click for more icons. Um, uh, I don't know, a gear maybe could go, lead to... I don't know. 
radial patterns, probably ends in an S-O, runs down slanders. So runs down, in this case, I don't think really either of the meanings that I offered is precisely correct. To run somebody down, to talk ill of them, to slander them. Okay. Icon to click for more. Oh, I'm sort of running out of steam right at the end. How frustrating. Sci-fi character, that's not quite at the end, there's an entire additional instruction. Sci-fi character who was originally a puppet before CGI. Oh, Yoda, I suppose, was a puppet in the original Star Wars films. Um, one with an inside job as a spy. Yes, the, the spies inside the kind of enemy organization, what have you. So still not sure about this. From long, long ago. Of your, right, it's two words, which I didn't have in mind. Okay, so of your, days of your, days from long, long ago. Oh, Ernie Pyle? Icon to click for more icons. Yes, a folder icon on a computer desktop um, will show you more icons inside that folder. Or and or could be oft, so over and over, but in a poetic way. And oft is sort of poetic poetic form of the word often. So there we go. Okay. Radial patterns. Oh, treads. Radial tires. This is referring to. So patterns on radial tires could be tire treads. And then Ernie Pyle and I didn't see the side in checkers was red. That would have been an early and easy get. And there we go. Oh, right. <laughs> okay. It fills it in for us. Oh, that's a relief. So I can save some time. I was kind of looking forward to doing it myself actually, but, um, but, but no, that, that, uh, uh, in this case, it's actually helpful. So codes are a puzzle, a game, just like any other game. Codes are a puzzle, a game, just like any other game. There we go. And is that, who, who stated this? Was it Alan Turing? So it says, use the line spoken by 25 across right, spoken by Alan Turing in the imitation game, I see. And is that it in the 40 across? Yes, okay. So I wonder if that means this is actually a um, an Alan Turing quote or if it was fictionalized for the film. You know what, because I did, this did actually go fairly quickly. Um, I'm just going to take a moment, even though I don't have lots to spare, to look that up. So, okay, so codes are a puzzle. Just going to see if I can figure out if if this was actually something that was stated by him. It's coming up on sort of quote websites, but honestly, it's you never know if how you never know how reputable those are. The thing is, it only seems to be coming up on quote websites and references to the film. Here it is cited in a British medical journal. So this this looks this looks much more re reputable. Okay, I'm going to say it does seem like an actual Turing quote based on based on that citation. So hopefully that's correct. And there we go. There was a fun puzzle. And look at this <laughs> this animation that's uh, very fun, but also sort of irritating because <laughs> you can't always just read it. But I guess it makes sense that you'd see the original grid sometimes as well. Okay, uh, very good, very fun puzzle. This would have been a good one to solve. Um, on an actual, in an actual newspaper, because you would have had that sensation of filling out the site for yourself. That would be fun. Um, but there we have it. And I am going to skip the corrections again, because I do need to claim every moment I can get this morning. And that is the puzzle. That's the puzzle for Sunday, October 30th. I think a nice Sunday puzzle fortunately wasn't too, uh, too brutal. So I was able to move through it relatively quickly, despite the large grid. And we had a fun little reward at the end, this Alan Turing quotation. So uh, very good, a, a, a fun effort from Addison Snell and a nice theme that of course ended in a very thematic way. And I hope you enjoyed it. I'll be back tomorrow for the Monday puzzle. Should be much simpler than this one. I hope you join me for that. But until then, please do have an excellent remainder of your Sunday. Take care. <laughs>